Good morning and welcome back to more Good Morning Vale. And don't forget, there's more for you on Channel 92. I am here with Melinda Ferris. Good morning. Good morning, Melinda. And you are the Assistant General Manager at the Inn at Riverwalk. Yes, over in Edwards. Over in Edwards. Mm -hmm. What a cool place that is and what a neat location. And I know, I know that there's a lot of history behind it, but I know maybe some of our viewers don't know about all about the Inn at Riverwalk and kind of the history and the family and everything behind sure. it. Sure. Yes. So we have been there for, well, the Inn has been there for 25 years and uh, we are owned by the Treat family. So they're a very local family. They've been here really since kind of Vail began. Mm -hmm. And um, Sandy Treat the first actually was here to train for the 10th Mountain Division for World War II. And so now we are on to Sandy Treat the fourth. Um, and so he is, oh gosh, what is he, about two years old now? Um, so that family has been around for quite a while, and the, the hotel has been in their family the whole time. Yeah, and I remember Sandy did a lot of charity work in the community. He had mm -hmm. a golf outing that, that uh, benefited a lot of needy causes around the valley, was very, very involved in the valley, and being one of the iconic members who actually started Vail Mountain being mm -hmm. in the 10th Mountain just contributed so much to the community. So that's really neat to have the Inn at Riverwalk have a local company with an owner and a heritage like that uh, here in the Valley. It is. It's, I mean, it's great to be a part of and there. Um, our owners are always kind of looking to contribute to the community that we've been a part of for these 25 years. Um, we're right there in downtown Riverwalk. So they're, they're kind of always looking to give back to the community that has supported us and allowed us to maintain our status as an independent hotel for that long. Now, you've got also some kind of a creative art project going on in partnership. Tell me about that. Yes. So we just completed it. It is a project with Roundup River Ranch, and that's who it will benefit in the end as well. So we brought in a local artist. Her name is Marley Seifert, and she's from Leadville. Um, she's actually done some work in our hotel before. There's a big mural in the entrance if you've ever been in there. Yeah. It's incredible. She does mountainscapes, um, and that mural has one side's a sunrise and the other side's a sunset. So what we did is we brought her in, and she made almost like a coloring book page, I would say. Like, she just did the black and white outline on the wall. Yeah. And then um, donors, volunteers, and uh, kids and their families that utilize Roundup River Ranch's services, they came in and they actually filled in the whole mural and kind of put that together. Oh, neat. There's a photo up on the screen right now that kind of shows what it looks like. Mm -hmm. How neat is that? And Roundup River Ranch, what an amazing organization. The, the work that they do, uh, there's no, no words to describe it. The love, the care, the mm -hmm. compassion, everything that goes into that. So it's got to be so rewarding to be part of the contributing to something like that. It is. And we actually got to see um, our general manager, Matt Tabor, and I, we went out a couple years ago for the first time to kind of see what it is that we're supporting. We all kind of know the basic concept of what Roundup River Ranch does. Um, to benefit and support uh, kids with serious illnesses and their families, of course, but we hadn't really seen it in action. So it was incredible to kind of go over there and see how the camp operates and see how beneficial they really are to our community. So mm -hmm. really happy to put something together like this that we can benefit them and allow them to continue the great work that they do. And how, how long is this partnership gonna last? So it, at the very least, we'll go through ski se season through April. Um, mm -hmm. And then we'll kind of see how it goes. We might continue to, to go with it if the community is really enthusiastic and they're interested um, in reserving this room, a portion of which will go back to Roundup River Ranch. And then if it's really popular, you know, we're, we're happy to keep doing it or maybe revamp it yeah. and do some new artwork for the next time. So people coming in can request the certain room where proceeds go to Roundup River Ranch. They can. So 20% of the proceeds from every night booked in that room will go back to Roundup River Ranch. And um, you will have to book it in advance. So it'll be sort of a separate booking that you'll go online to our website to inatriverwalk.com. And then you can book that room specifically to make sure that one, that you get in it and two, that the donations really are made on your behalf. Right. And so you just talked about earlier, you changed around your bookings a little bit. And so now people can go on. It's a little bit easier to go on the website yes. and book. 
Yes, it's much simpler than it was before. Um, it's a brand new system, and then you'll be able to start reserving this room as of Monday because I'm still um, putting the system <laughs> together and getting it to work, so I want it to be perfect. Um, so as of Monday, you can start reserving this room. And I know how much work it is when you redesign and add different room types into. Everybody <laughs> thinks you can just plug and play, but there's a lot that goes into it with the routing and yes. all of that, and then the contributing a certain amount back to Roundup River Ranch. Mm -hmm. So that is really neat. Well, I know that the place that I work with, we put a lot of people there at the Innit River Walk, and so I'm yes. going to have to start requesting that specific room so that we can help give back to Yes, to we would love that, of course. <laughs> well, what else can we know about? How many, how many rooms do you have down at Innit River Walk? So we have 65 rooms, most of which are standard hotel rooms, but we also have condominiums. So we've got one and two bedroom condos. So those are more popular for guests who are staying for a long time or, you know, if your family's in town and you want to be able to to make dinner and sort of relax in, in a, a larger space after your ski, ski day. Um, so yeah, you've got options. And I love the location. It's just, you, you're there, you're right in the little walking mall mm -hmm. area of Edwards, and you've got the restaurants, you've got a ton of shops. And if you are staying there in one of the condos, you do have the grocery store mm -hmm. right there. So everything is so convenient. And I do like it too that it's, it's a little quiet too. So you have a it chance is. to decompress if you're done with skiing and you don't want to be in the middle of everything going on. It's a chance to kind of get away and just relax a little bit. Definitely. That's probably, I would say, our, our biggest benefit is just the location where we are. You can't beat it. We're right downtown. You've got all the local restaurants near, um, everything that you can walk to. So that's, I think, really what our guests enjoy the most is, um, especially if you've come here year after year, you might want to kind of step away from the hustle and bustle of the resort and, and yeah. really get more of a local experience. And that's what we can offer. Well, I can't wait to see how the partnership works out and definitely we'll have to work to contribute to that yes. and appreciate you coming on the show, Melinda. Yes, thanks for having me. Well, thank you very much and we'll look forward to having you back soon. Sounds great, thank you. We'll be back with more Good Morning Vale.